Well, more and more people are relying on technology to find their next date, and they're not just using dating apps to make a match. Mm -mm, if you're looking for love, listen up. Singles are now turning to artificial intelligence to help give them an edge in the online dating world. So fresh from Dreamforce this morning, we are joined by data scientist and co-founder of Your Move AI, Dimitri Mirakan. He's talking about AI and how it's revolutionizing online dating. Good morning, Dimitri. We have so many singles, <laughs> or maybe not even singles, who are on the apps looking at AI for the weekend. Do you have any tips for us live from the Big Apple this morning? Well, uh, use my product? No. I'm <laughs> um, I don't know. Like. Online conversations and texting are hard. Just find a way to meet up with somebody in person. It's so much more easy to be charismatic and just have a great time if you have a face-to-face -face conversation with somebody in real life. Um, hard to be that. Give us a pickup line. Look right in the camera and tell us the best pickup line. Oh, dear God, I don't. We 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 did a we we were doing some marketing TikToks recently, and I think the best one that I got was. Um, uh, you're a seashell. Are you a seashell? Because I want to pick you up and take you home with me. <laughs> what? That's the question I got. That. What happened to the good old safe? What's your sign? <laughs> is that too dated? So you know, seriously, for someone who isn't so you know maybe conversational when it comes to text messaging or doing that first initial back and forth when you meet someone, especially online, can AI help give them a little bit of an edge on that? Maybe give them a, a you know I don't know just some inspiration to make that a little bit better and more interesting. I think so. I, I think the way that we see people using AI and the way that I use AI is like helping overcome that initial writer's block. Um, just imagine yourself at like 7 a.m. on a, a way to work, tired, staring into a phone screen, looking at somebody with three photos and like a two message, a two sentence description, trying to find something clever to say to start a conversation. It's really, really, really hard. Um, I think AI can give a lot of ideas for how to open up that conversation and take it into interesting places and like have better conversations, help people get to know each other, not replace you, but kind of amplify you in a sense um, and ultimately help us create more connection. Dimitri, I'm super old school. I met my husband before, you know, dating apps were a thing. Well, now I have two boys that are growing up. So tell me, what are the percentages of people actually meeting their soulmate on these dating apps? I know right now over half of people, I, I think over half of millennials at this point are meeting their friends, uh, are meeting their partners online. Out of my friend group, I'd say like two thirds of people that are in relationships have met online or through dating apps. Um, it's wild. Congrats on skipping all of that. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have the option. Yeah, well, I skipped it for myself, but not my kids. <laughs> we had the abacus back then, or smoke signals, to say, I love you on the, high, on the horizon. We built something better than Tinder by the time your kids are old. Yeah. There's got to be something better than that. Yeah, well, you cannot. Yeah. That face-to-face -face conversation, there is so much more. Plus, I don't know if I always trust pictures online. Dimitri, thank you so much.